So for us to put an x minus 12 on factorial is equal to 24. We are looking for the value of x now. Notice something, there is a factorial here, but there is no factorial here. So I need to bring in a factorial here so that I can be able to compare the two other values. Now what I'm going to do is to look for the factorial of a number that will give me 24. And the factorial of a number that will give me 24 is 4. Why? Why did I? Let me prove it. 4 factorial is the same as what? 4 times 3, multiplying in the crazy manner by 1. So 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3, 12. 12 times 2, 24. 24 times 1 is what? 24. So 4 factorial is the same as 24, right? So I'm, I can re rewrite this to be 4 raised to the power x minus 12, right? All factorial is equal to what? 4 factorial. 4 factorial is the same as 24, right? Now, you notice there is a factorial here, and there is also a factorial here. So I can be able to compare the two other values and ignore the factorial, right? So this is 4 raised to the power x minus 12. What we have here is equal to what? 4. So we are comparing the two other values now. So that's what we are doing. So let us just collect like terms. So I have 4 raised to the power x is equal to 4. Minus 12, if I transpose it to the right hand side, it becomes what? Plus 12. Right? So if I have 4 raised to the power x is equal to what? 16. 4 plus 12 is 16. So 4 raised to the power x is equal to, I need to make 16 to have a base of 4. So 4 raised to the power 2. The same basis, I will equate the exponent. So x is what? 2. I'll see you in the next video.